And we begin in Arapahoe County tonight for you, where flames forced thousands of people out of their homes. A deputy with the sheriff's office says one of the first to arrive there on scene, and he was able to help a 93-year-old man get out safely. I tell him again, hey, we got to go. We got to go. Come on. And he's just frozen. So that's when I go and grab him and just pull him out of the apartment. Mm, the fire breaking out overnight at the Club Valencia complex just to the east of Parker Road near Mississippi. Now, this is the second fire there in less than three months. We covered this other one back in November where people also had to be rescued. Michael Beta is live at the scene for us tonight. Michael, certainly so much for these people to have to go through over and over. Yeah, Karen, you know, they seem that it seems like they think find it to be exhausting. You know, this is a one building complex and after two fires, there may be a lot of vacancies. When I went, oh, that's not good. Wednesday morning, residents of the Club Valencia condominium complex on South Parker Road were awakened by a fire. If somebody was going through banging on the door saying smoke, fire. We were just rushed out, couldn't grab anything, couldn't go back or nothing. It's a routine they're getting pretty tired of. It's terrible, man. I mean, it's horrible. They got so many problems. We got all kinds of people that's running around through here at nighttime when people are sleeping. And, and sad to say, a lot of them are doing stuff they shouldn't be doing. This is the second fire at the complex in nearly three months. In November, it went up in flames and 86 units were evacuated. Some of those still remain unoccupied. Now, according to the Red Cross, somewhere between 80 and 100 more units have been evacuated. I guess they condemned the property, said we can't go in to get anything, so we're just left out in the cold. The fire appeared to be much smaller than November, but still just as many families are looking for a place to stay. Residents have a suspicion they know why. Once something burns, the smoke sits in the hallways. And this place is full of the asbestos, and everybody's out in the cold again. Some folks already know where they'll stay. We're probably going to have to go get a room or something for tonight or whatever, so uh, we'll, we'll just take it one day at a time. But others are still trying to figure it out. Where will you go? Do you have any? I don't know yet. Now, we did learn from South Metro Fire that this uh, fire was caused by cooking in a kitchen. The Red Cross is on scene here helping people with their health and well-being as well as helping them replace medications and medical equipment lost in the fire. In Arapahoe County, Michael Aveta covering Colorado First.